Hi everyone, welcome to Unit 5. This is weather. Uh, this is going to be focusing on air pressure and station models. So without further ado, here we go. So we're going to start with the six weather instruments right now. Um, there are six that you got to know. The first one's up in the top left. This is a thermometer. It measures temperature. This one down here is an anemometer. It measures the wind speed and generally measures in the unit knots, K-N-O-T-S, knots. Could also measure in miles per hour. Uh, rain gauge is right here. This is just like a little cup and you, it rains and it fills up with liquid and you can go out every couple hours or one hour or six hours and see how much it filled up. Down here, this is a barometer. This one's a modern, uh, modern barometer that measures in millibars. And there's also an old mercury barometer that measures in inches of mercury. Mercury is HG on the periodic table. So we can convert between those two units, which we'll get to in a little while. This up here in the top right is a wind vane. It measures the wind direction. And down here is the sling psychrometer, which we spoke about in the humidity video. So those are the six instruments that measure weather data. So we're mainly going to talk about air pressure today. So there's a couple of relationships that you need to know for air pressure. And the first off, it's the pressure of the air pressing down on whatever, a surface or your head or whatever the case. So if you look at the picture here, the majority of the air molecules are on the surface. That's because gravity is pulling everything down. So if you were to go up higher and higher, you would have less molecules above your head. So as altitude increases, the air pressure is going to drop. So that line would look like this. So this is an inverse relationship. Now, if you remember back in humidity, we said that cold air has molecules that are really packed together. They don't really have that much space to hold water, remember? And warm air if you remember, has more space, which is the ability to hold more moisture. So if you were to think about this, this cold air has more molecules, therefore it would be higher pressure, it's heavier, because there's more molecules. And warm air is lighter, because there's less molecules. So the second relationship is, as temperature increases, atmospheric pressure decreases because you're going from a heavy amount to a lighter amount. So the lighter amount will exert less pressure. So this is gonna go like this. And the relationship is inverse. And the last relationship is if you have uh, increase in humidity, as in you're putting more moisture in the air, the thing to know about this is that water molecules or water vapor weighs less than air. So the idea is if you add more water, your pressure is going to go down because it's going to be a lighter air mass. So this is again, humidity up, pressure down, another inverse. Okay. So on this page here, on page 13, there is a pressure conversion graph here. And if you look on the left side, you got millibars. And on the right side, you got your inches of mercury. And we can convert between these. The little lines on the left go up by ones. So this would be 1,020. So this is 1,021, 1,022, 1,023, 1,024. And this side goes up by 0 0.01. So that counts like this. 30.00, 30.01, 30.02, 30.03, 30.04, 30.05, 30.06, 30.07, 30.08, 30.09, 30.10, 30.11, 30.12, 30.13, 30.14, 30.15, 30.16, 30.17, 30.18, 30.19, 30.20, 30.21, 30.22, 30.23, 30.24, 30.25, 30.26, 30.27, 30.28, 30.29, 30.30, 30.31, 30.32, 30.33, 30.34, 30.35, 30.36, 30.37, 30.38, 30.39, 30.40, 30.41, 30.42, 30.43, 30.44, 30.45, 30.46, 30.47, 30.48, 30.49, 30.50, 30.51, 30.52, 30.53, 30.54, 30.55, 30.56, 30.57, 30.58, 30.59, 30.60, 30.61, 30.62, 30.63, 30.64, 30.65, 30.66, 30.67, 30.68, 30.69, 30.70, 30.71, 30.72, 30.73, 30.74, 30.75, 30.76, 30.77, 30.78, 30.79, 30.80, 30.81, 30.82, 30.83, 30.84, 30.85, 30.86, 30.87, 30.88, 30.89, 30.91, 30.92, 30.93, 30.94, 30.95, 30.96, 30.97, 30.98, 30.99, 30.10, 30.11, 30.12, 30.13, 30.14, 30.15, 30.16, 30.17, 30.18, 30.19, 30.20, 30.21, 30.22, 30.23, 30.24, 30.25, 30.26, 30.27, 30.28, 30.29, 30.30, 30.31, 30.32, 30.33, 30.34, 30.35, 30.36, 30.37, 30.38, 30.39, 30.40, 30.41, 30.42, 30.43, 30.44, 30.45, 30.46, 30.47, 30.48, 30.49, 30.51, 30.52, 30.53, 30.54, 30.55, 30.56, 30.57, 30.58, 30.59, 30.60, 30.61, 30.62, 30.63, 30.64, 30.65, 30.66, 30.67, 30.68, 30.69, 30.70, 30.71, 30.72, 30.73, 30.74, 30.75, 30.76, 30.77, 30.78, 30.79, 30.80, 30.81, 30.82, 30.83, 30.84, 30.85, 30.86, 30.87, 30.88, 30.89, 30.91, 30.92, 30.93, 30.94, 30.95, 30.96, 30.97, 30.98, 30.99, 30.10, 30.11, 30.12, 30.13, 30.14, 30.15, 30.16, 30.17, 30.18, 30.19, 30.20, 30.21, 30.22, 30.23, 30.24, 30.25, 30.26, 30.27, 30.28, 30.29, 30.30, 30.31, 30.32, 30.33, 30.34, 30.35, 30.36, 30.37, 30.38, 30.39, 30.40, 30.41, 30.42, 30.43, 30.44, 30.45, 30.46, 30.47, 30.48, 30.49, 30.51, 30.52, 30.53, 30.54, 30.55, 30.56, 30.57, 30.58, 30.59, 30.60, 30.61, 30.62, 30.63, 30.64, 30.65, 30.66, 30.67, 30.68, 30.69, 30.70, 30.71, 30.72, 30.73, 30.74, 30.75, 30.76, 30.77, 30.78, 30.79, 30.80, 30.81, 30.82, 30.83, 30.84, 30.85, 30.86, 30.87, 30.88, 30.89, 30.91, 30.92, 30.93, 30.94, 30.95, 30.96, 30.97, 30.98, 30.99, 30.10, 30.11, 30.12, 30.13, 30.14, 30.15, 30.16, 30.17, 30.18, 30.19, 30.20, 30.21, 30.22, 30.23, 30.34, 30.35, 30.36, 30.37, 30.38, 30.39, 30.40, 30.41, 30.42, 30.43, 30.44, 30.45, 30.46, 30.47, 30.48, 30.49, 30.51, 30.52, 30.53, 30.54, 30.55, 30.56, 30.57, 30.58, 30.59, 30.60, 30.61, 30.62, 30.63, 30.64, 30.65, 30.66, 30.67, 30.68, 30.69, 30.70, 30.71, 30.72, 30.73, 30.74, 30.75, 30.76, 30.77, 30.78, 30.79, 30.80, 30.81, 30.82, 30.83, 30.84, 30.85, 30.86, 30.87, 30.88, 30.89, 30.91, 30.92, 30.93, 30.94, 30.95, 30.96, 30.97, 30.98, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 30.99, 
The H stands for high pressure, and I put all four things, uh, little cheat sheets that always mean it's high pressure. So if it's high pressure, that means you have happy weather, and happy is just a way to remember because it starts with an H, but weather is not happy. We call it fair. It means it's nice outside, essentially. It means, like, no clouds for the most part. Um, the air is heavier or sinking, so generally it's cooler. And high pressure systems rotate clockwise and outwards, like this. And you can remember that with Hawk, high outward clockwise. So high pressure rotates outwards from the center and clockwise. Okay? And then if you go look at low pressure, L for low pressure, L for light air because this air rises, so generally it's considered warmer. L for lousy, which means it's just a fun way to remember cloudy weather. This could also mean storms, so any type of storm is low pressure. And low pressure rotates left, which is counterclockwise. That's a typo. This should say counterclockwise. So then we got down here. Lick as our little acronym. Low, inward, counterclockwise. So the low pressure rotates like this. Counterclockwise and inwards to the center. Okay? So there's your like ultimate cheat sheet for this. Okay. So the next thing is station models. So on your reference table, page 13, you're gonna have these two diagrams. Now for this video, we're not gonna be focusing on air masses or fronts today, okay? So you just need to worry about the present weather, uh, maybe the hurricane and tornado symbol, and the actual station model uh, key here. So I'm just gonna quickly run through each thing. In the top left, you got your temperature. It's in degrees Fahrenheit. We've never put units on a station model. The idea is to save space, so they didn't add units. Visibility is how far ahead of you you can see. So that's in miles, half a mile. This symbol right here is the present weather. This around here is the dew point, which is going to be in degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to erase this so we could see. This right here this staff is going to be the wind direction and it's from the whatever the direction is so this is from the southwest which means the wind is blowing towards the northeast how fast is it blowing well if you look at this right here a whole feather is 10 knots a half a feather is 5 knots so this is a whole feather and a half feather so this is 15 knots total wind speed from the southwest the pressure, we're going to leave that for last. That's in the top right. This barometric trend is how much the pressure is either going up or going down in the last three hours. So in this case, we said plus, and they take away the decimal, if you look over here. So this would be a plus 1.9 millibar increase in the last three hours. In the bottom right, that's your inches of rain or precipitation, whatever it is. And in the center, that's your cloud coverage. So it says this is like 75% cloud coverage. So all the answers are right here. You never have to remember any of this. The only thing you have to remember is how do you actually convert the pressure 196 to the actual pressure. So this 196 on the station model is not the actual pressure. What you have to do, see it says 196. So here's your cheat sheet. If the first number is between a 0 and a 4, you put a 10 in the front. And if the first number is between a 5 and a 9, you put a 9 in front. So in this case, it's a 1. So I'm going to put a 10 in front, and then you add the decimal point between the last two numbers. So 1019.6. All right. So if they say to put pressure on a station model, you got to only use the last three numbers and take away the decimal point. So it would just be 196. Let's do an example. Let's say you see a station model and it says 006. Okay? And I want to know what the pressure of that is. 
Well, the first digit is a zero, so you add a 10 in the front, and you put a decimal between the last two. So it's 1,006 millibars. Say the pressure is 1,020.2 millibars, and they want you to put that on a station model. You would only take the last three digits. 202, done. Okay? You never put the unit millibars on a station model. All right, so let's do a couple practice questions and see what you do. Number one, which weather instrument was used to measure the amount of rainfall from a storm? You have four instruments. Barometer, that measures pressure. That's not the answer. Anemometer measures wind speed. That's not the answer. Wind vane is wind direction. So amount of rainfall is your precipitation or rain gauge. That's the answer, C. Number two, which graph shows the general relationship between air pressure and altitude? So you want the, the relationship to be as you increase in altitude or height, the pressure goes down. This is inverse B. Number three, the presence of which condition will most likely result in clear skies? Another way to say clear is fair weather or not cloudy. So that's going to be high pressure, B. High humidity, that's a, a low pressure thing, and that's going to bring you rain. Uh, increasing wind speed, that means there's some type of storm probably. The dew point to the air temperature, that means you're going to get clouds. So the other three are wrong. It's not going to give you clear skies. Number four, pressure exerted by the Earth's atmosphere at sea level, expressed in millibars and inches of mercury. So we said one atmosphere is sea level. 1,013.2 millibars, which is 29.92 inches of mercury. Looks like A is the best answer. Number five, which variable generally decreases when wind speed's increasing? So it's getting really windy outside. There's a lot of clouds and visibility drops. It's hard to see. So which one is generally going to go down? These dew point is the measure of moisture. So this is going to go up. Relative humidity, that if it's a high amount, you're going to have a lot of moisture, a lot of clouds. So that's going to go up. And it looks like by this, if there's a lot of clouds and wind speed, precipitation will probably start to go up. And this is all characteristics of low pressure. D, air pressure should drop. Low pressure is lousy, cloudy, stormy. Number six, we got a station model. What were the pressure and weather conditions at the airport at the time of the observation? So here's your pressure. So let's figure that out. There's a one. So remember, zero to four, you put a 10 in the front. So this is 10, one, four, six, and then put a dot in between. So pressure is 1014.6, so we can get rid of A and B. And then they want clear sky or smog. Here, this symbol here, that's smog. So C looks like it's the best answer. Number seven, which map represents the surface wind pattern around the northern hemisphere, high pressure and low pressure? There's our acronym, works every time. High pressure outwards clockwise, which means this is good and this is good. This is bad and this is bad because that's going to the left. And then low inwards counterclockwise. So this is good. This one's bad. A. Remember, when we drew the pictures, we did these arrows for the high pressure and then these arrows for the low pressure. Number eight, what was most likely the dew point at this location using the station model? Well, a couple things. 
There's a 9 here, so this is 997.0. The pressure's low. You got 100% clouds, and you got rain, and you got a temperature of 62. They want to know what the dew point is. Well, if you remember from humidity, if the temperature is equal to the dew point, you're going to have all these things happen. Clouds, low pressure, rain. So you want the dew point to be very close to this air temperature. So C is your best answer. All right. Hopefully you did pretty good. If not, watch the video again. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck in weather. See you later.